Grand Rising, everyone. I really got to show you this because look at this guy. He's jamming over here, boy. Last night, I had the air conditioning on in, in my house, and I am freaking sick right now. The They sprayed the fuck out of us. Look at what they did. Let me see how I can show you this. Look. Look at, I'm just going to do a 360 of the sky right here. Look. See? See that area there? This look at the look at over there. You see all the way over there? You see that line right there? Look over here. This is this gets into your brain right through your nose. <laughs> look. My nose is clear. Like my nose is clear because of what I do, but you see how I sound nasal? Man, that guy's really jamming, boy. I was like nice tunes. Anyway, now this is going to be hard because I'm going to have to switch it like this with it. Maybe I'll just keep it. Let me see how this is going to work here. So, yeah. It's it's ridiculous. So, you you know, you have to be aware of it. You know how we had these couple of beautiful days? There was no chemtrails. Now, they started back up with this shit. So, because it's a Monday, they gave us this weekend for why their reasons, I don't know what their reasons are. But overnight, I notice, because when I wake up, my mind and brain is cloudy. It's all because of the chemtrails. I, I trust me on this one. So now basically, I have to go and I have to, uh, I, I'll, I'll detox. I'll detox from it, but it's, it's uh, I mean, it's easy for me. I should have did it, but I'm late. I completely forgot about that I have to go to the mechanic. So I'm gonna drive, I'm just gonna keep on talking. And basically I just wanted to make, you know, to bring awareness about these chemtrails and what you could do. I am gonna do a series of videos for detoxification, health, wellness. And they're gonna be labeled, um, I'm gonna do uh, video number 56. Part one, part two, part three. So basically, this is this is the start of it. A series of videos for health, wellness, protection against chemtrails is going to be key because what they're doing is they're 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 spraying not only the strontium, barium, aluminum, and other stuff, but it's highly possible that they're putting in nanotechnology in the chemtrails now. Uh, you know, or at least the ingredients for ingredients that are gonna allow the, maybe the, 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 the V, you know, the, the, I'm not even gonna say the word, but you know, uh, the jab that they want us to, to take is gonna be, is gonna utilize these ingredients. I mean, if you look at this, I, I don't wanna lose this, but just look, look at that sky. They fumigated us right now. They fumigated us. So if you don't believe it, you know, um, that's that's on you. But if you do, you have to take action to protect yourself against this and to detox from these, these items. You know, why do we still live in a place like this? You know what? You can't get away from it because they're doing it everywhere now. In Colombia, they did not have it. Now, Every time I go, they're spraying. I, I ask my, my wife down there, I ask her, hey, I, are they doing those things with the sky? She's like, see, I can't believe it. You're right. They did. And they're doing it. So, um, you know, they're trying to map out the, I got my coffee. They're trying to, they're trying to you know, make a holographic artificial map of, of this reality and this hologram in order to basically these people who die they upload their consciousness up into these supercomputers and then they can they can have a holographic a three-dimensional basically artificial reality that they can live in they're, they're, this is the the beginning of it this is this is just the beginning of it <laughs> I have to get into the other lane. Got it. So anyway, so that's it. And um, so this is going to be the beginning of it. What I'm going to do as soon as I get back home, before I even eat my lunch, I'm going to do, you know, activated charcoal, diatomaceous earth, clinoptile zeolite. I always clinop 
Clinictolite, Clinictolyl, Zeolite. I always mix up that unless I have it right in front of me, then I then I pronounce it correctly. And uh, let me see what else. Maybe I'll take a couple of vitamin C because right now it's I'm, I'm I'm getting nasal. My nose is still clear. I do the MMS, the basically Clorox. I do I mouth I I will rinse my mouth out, so that kills it if it's biological. But this is this is biological too. They probably put biologic. They probably put candida. They probably uh, what else? They probably put Lyme's disease because this stuff gets all over the trees, all over all the mosquitoes. Because now. Now the mosquitoes here in New York, they're gonna be on their last stand, like the last samurai. And they're gonna be basically, I can't breathe, so I need, I, see, now I wanna put the air conditioning on, but I'm gonna have to close the vent. And what, what good is that gonna do? Because then it's gonna be warm. I just gonna have to breathe it in, because I can't, it's too hot in here, and my air conditioning doesn't work. I'm going to the mechanic now because all my lights turn on. All right, anything else? Uh, so yeah, the mosquitoes, like, the, like they're on their last stand now, so when they bite you, you get sick. You get sick because they, we have four days of rain. So this is not, this is just a start. Four days of rain means we're getting all the pollution, all the chemtrails from the entire United States. They all get dumped on New York. It always moves from south, north, and from west to east. The, um, the climate patterns, you know, the cloud uh, patterns and the, the storm systems, they always move from south. That's why all the hurricanes start in the Caribbean and they move their way up. Uh, and, and then we get, uh, additionally, we get uh, it coming from west to east. So, so we're going to get all that stuff dumped on us. So this is where they can get, you could get sick from this and not recover for, the, in, for a month. So I'm not sure if anybody else is going, you know, uh, like comment, comment on the video. Hey, is, are you guys feeling symptoms of, that's what I'll, I'll title it. Are you guys feeling symptoms of the, uh, of the chemtrailing? Right? That's it. Uh, I mean, I'll see if I have anything else to talk about. But no, I just wanted to keep this short, do, do these little shorts. So, so you know, because uh, oftentimes you get people, they don't want to listen to a, an hour video. Yeah, if they're having lunch, they, they, they would. Or if they're doing something, they have the time. But somebody will watch a five-minute video. It's already 6.22 plus part one that I just recorded. I pressed the wrong button. So that's it. Are you feeling the effects of chemtrails? Let me know in the comments. All right, I'm out, I'm headed to the mechanic, and it's gonna be a big week, big week. I, I wish I could do this on Google Workspace, but I can't, because I can't record it locally uh, here on my cell phone. All right, have a great day. Mm. All right, guys, so the continuation of that first video where I was showing you the chemtrails, this is how I detox from chemtrails here. So I have to kind of crouch down because I want to show this right here. Alright, so basically, this, right, not right now, this is what I do. I have activated charcoal right here, you know, I keep it in, in one of these. It's basically black uh, firewood powder, but it's from coconut charcoal that I use, but any kind is good. Diatomaceous earth, I'm going to show you the bags right now, and this. I always zeal like clinip, clinoptilolite, clinoptilolite, zeolite, clinoptilolite. This is expensive. Uh, I don't, I usually write everything down. This is the only thing that comes in this just because I have it. Otherwise, these two are fine, just these two. But this is a particular unique bond it makes to all these heavy metals that they're spraying to us. So, now let me start with the activated charcoal. This I got from Earther Academy, Dr. Robert Kassar, Earther Academy YouTube channel, uh, earthshiftproducts.com. So that's the 5475, you see? And he even gets it from uh, Cambridge Commodities right here, you see? Cambridge Commodities, maybe you can buy it free. You're gonna, I'm only giving you the breadcrumbs right now. You're gonna have to do the work, but you can get a lot of good stuff there. I follow him religiously for maybe eight to nine, 10 years maybe. Uh, when I found out about him in 2013, it will be eight years. So this is uh, activated charcoal, this is very, very important for heavy metals and all of this stuff. Nothing else makes a bond to these heavy metals and these things. Then we got the diatomaceous earth. Basically, this is freshwater diatomaceous. It's, I, to my knowledge, I'm, I'm not sure. It's the um, fossilized crustaceans, not the crustaceans, the coral reefs. I, I'm almost 100% sure 
that these are basically um, from coral reefs. They make them into a powder. They have a very unique bond. So these two I use together. Uh, I could be right, I could be wrong, but you can use them separately. I think they make a bond together. Diatsumaciousearth.com, food grade you got to get. Otherwise, the other one, you get the little side effects. Food grade. The activated charcoal is phenomenal. That alone, for I mean, if I had to do these independently, this alone, if you're going to be drinking, and what, what happens when you drink alcohol, it loosens everything up. That's why everybody has a hangover. They don't even know what a hangover is. Now I finally understand what a hangover is. A hangover is the alcohol, if you take meat, or you know how you have meat and you put a steak sauce on it? Why? Because it starts dissolving the stuff for you to basically digest it better. Alcohol does the same thing. As soon as it goes into your body, it's going to loosen up your fat. Um, there's a therapy called vodka therapy, but you use top shelf Grey Goose vodka. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you down the line, but for right now, activated charcoal. Well, how did I get onto that alcohol? Um, yes, if you drink alcohol and you don't want to get that, you have this, is, this won't give you any reaction at all. If you take enough, you may see it black down when you do your stool in the bathroom. But otherwise, if you only take like a... Some people take this in pills. I mix it. I mix a heaping spoon. I'm going to show you right now. But if you're going to go out partying, right? If you take this, you will not get a hangover. You won't get the... Uh, and then and, uh, when you vomit, you get that black vial stuff. You know, you will not get that if you take this. If you take these three together, you're even better off. You take it before, you take it after. You know... I don't have, I don't, it doesn't happen to me anymore, you know, because right now I'm drinking. Sometimes I go through phases of years I don't drink. Right now I'm drinking because I need to, you know, uh, commune with the ancestors. And that's how I, that's how I do it because I can't, I don't have the time to go into the forest or at the beach. It's too cold, you know, uh, and the circumstances and stuff. So, so that's, that's that. I'll show you right now. And then this is bentonite clay. This is separate. I'm going to show you. Bentonite clay is in here. I'm going to show you that's a part. That's a second part. I will go over it. Okay. You got this. You got this. You want to get these ball uh, lids if you're interested, you know, and they came out with these new. These are tall because uh, the short ones are too short. So you're going to put in like this is what I do, you know, put in about five eighths water, three quarters water, whatever. <clears throat> You get a heaping spoon. Let me see if there's any, if I should put any before. Here, let me try it. This is how I do it forever. Heaping spoon. A heaping teaspoon. I mean, this is what I do. This will not give you any, but try it out. Try a little. I really want a heaping spoon, so I'm trying to get a heaping spoon. And you get it in the middle only, otherwise the cup gets really dirty. See how it's going down, dissolving? See, and you try not to breathe that stuff in. Diatomaceous earth right here. Uh, I have plenty. Heaping. If you don't have a lot, don't use a lot. If you don't have a lot of money or you don't have a lot on supply, do less. I have. I have plenty. I'm doing heaping. And then the clinical, this uh, clinical light, zeolite, I don't have much. They have a little spoon in here. You see this little spoon? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do, you know, a third or a quarter of a, just because I want it to last a little bit, ah, I'm going to go half. I'm going to go half. The only reaction, oh, let me tell you about the symptoms. Now, the symptoms, what I have, I woke up this morning, my air conditioner I left on so I could breathe, basically, so I could have some nice bre a, br a breeze in the house, because I don't have any plants around to cr create the oxygen. Now, when a storm comes in, I remember usually, but last night we were late on the meeting, so I completely forgot to think because they catch us off guard. I usually shut off my air conditioner because now it's taking all that chemtrail stuff and it's putting it throughout the house. So down the line, we want to have our own oxygen supply with plants. Like, for example, I have my basement. You want to fill, you could fill it up with plants, cannabis, anything, and then, uh, you know, green grass everywhere, you know, uh, infrared lamps, right? And then you want to have the uh, air conditioning system to, 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 to furnish the house from there. You basically feed it. You close off everything. You, you close the vents. You press the button. It says interior air only. And then it circulates that oxygen. That's where I want to be. I want to be there right away. So, uh, but... For now, we don't have that. I left the air conditioner on. When I woke up this morning, my brain, I had brain fog. 
I have a headache because the chemtrails go, if they do have nanotechnology in those chemtrails, it's going straight in your brain because I'm feeling it in my brain, in my heart, and in my gut. The lower part of my gut. I don't feel, I don't feel it. My gut is perfect, but my body's already trying to detox it. But what it does, how the body detoxes is it takes all of whatever it can get and then it deposits it into your gut for you to excrete it that way. If, you're, if, you're, if you can get to a sauna, you go in and you drink this and you drink a lot of water and then you can excrete it through your pores. But, but now it's winter so you're not sweating anymore. Now it's trying to excrete it here and what is happening is it gets reabsorbed into your body. Because it's a, it's a paradox. So it's basically, you can't get it out without having some tools. These are the tools. Believe me, I've been through this for 10 years. I worked asbestos. I worked lead. I worked, I was a roofer, but I was a welder roofer. So every, like day in, day out, I'm welding stuff. I weld rubbers, plastics, all that stuff. You got to breathe, right? So you're breathing it. You got to touch it, right? So it, it goes into your skin. It's right inside your brain. It goes right from your skin, right inside your brain, right inside your heart, right inside your liver, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. So, so uh, next year is going to be a big year. Anybody's interested, you know, um, I'm going to do a, I'm going to record the whole thing. I am going to reach maximum potential in health next year. I've already done it numerous years, but this year is going to be special because we're going to build a group. Anyone interested? Fine. If not, you can catch the uh, archive or, you know, but... I would love for you to consider experimenting with this stuff so you're ready. You don't have to experiment next year. So, that's it. I did this too? Yes. Okay. Did I do the clinic? Oh, my God. I can't even remember this. Of course I did, but just in case this can't hurt, I want a little extra. Okay, that's it. So, now this, the reason why these are good is because they don't leak. You got to do it tight. Shake it up. This I'm taking with nothing. If you can't drink it, you gotta add a little salt. And that's it. You, you do this down. You can rotate this to the area where there's where the, the twist is not there. So this way it won't spill. Because if you do it here where the twist is close to the tip, it'll spill. So you that's what you do. You go here. Clean the cup. There's still water in there. I'm going to make a video on that. Not today. I have steam distilled water from the machine. I am so sick right now, like I feel it in my nose, in my brain, and my eyes are all hurting and there was no reason. I mean, it could have a little bit to do with because I was in New York City yesterday, you know, touching all the door handles and all this stuff, you know, interacting with people. I did not even wash my hands once, you know, so I guess I was feeling inv invincible, but now, so that's it. This you want to do on an empty stomach. If you can, do it first thing in the morning. Um, or an hour after or an hour before you eat. So I'm going to eat in a little while, but I'm, this is not it for me. But this is what I recommend for anybody. You will have no, you know, very little side effects. You prop, you know, you know, like, uh, you might feel a little like it's scratching, you know, because it's sharp. This is sharp. You can't see it's a powder, but it's sharp. So it's going to be bond. It's going to be binding to the heavy metals, it's going to be binding a little bit, but very subtle. Um, look, I don't even have the pain anymore. So what it's doing is it's bonding. I mean, that's too quick. That was only a minute, but but really, I don't. Maybe it's like it could be you know psychological. But anyway, part two to this is more advanced. You can only do it with supervision. 
So I can supervise you, but you have to do the research on your own. I'm not going to do the whole research for you. You got to do research on these three right here. Done. You And now, this is phase two. This is more advanced. This is what I'm going to do. So, so it doesn't conflict. So it doesn't conflict with that. You wait about an hour because then if you, this is bentonite clay. Bentonite clay, the price is right there. This is $29.99. This diatomaceous syrup is only $16.99. So I should even use two scoops of that, you know, just to, so they're balanced out somehow. somehow. This is $54.75, you know, so, so that's what I do. I always write the prices so I remember. Uh, and look, I got walnuts there, not for me, for the deer. I have seed there, you, you know, I, I feed the birds, I feed the squirrels, I feed the deer, I feed everything. Now, uh, so basically, I'm going to take this in an hour. Let me think if I take it now or not. I'm just going to take it now because I'm not going to make a, another video for this. So uh, an hour goes by, right? The, how you do this is this. You will never get that to mix properly. So you have to do this. You have to make a day before. It takes a day to make. So what you do is very careful. You know, you put the water in about halfway, maybe a little less than halfway. And I'm not going to use that one because I have it right here. You know, this is the this is what diet, bentonite clay looks like. This is the stuff they use for masks. So realize what you're doing. That stuff when it dries, it's so hard and it peels your skin, your pores, and it gets your pores clean, right? So now, if you're going to use this inside internally, you want to get food grade, food grade. Otherwise. You know, there could be a lot of contaminants, then you're going to need to do more of this. So now, you got this here, and it, it's going to go inside your body, and it's going to attach to the plaque you have that you built up your entire life. This is very highly dangerous. Why? Because it's going to, it's all going to accumulate to the first couple of inches because you have so much plaque, if you have plaque. And, and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to bond to it, and then it's going to close the hole. So now, you're not going to be able to eat. If you do try and eat a meal, you're going to vomit it out. Then it's going to stop all your digestion. Very dangerous. What happens is when you do this, you need to learn how to do enemas. Enemas meaning coffee enemas to stimulate you to, to, to uh, you know, use the toilet. So that's an art. That is not something you could learn into a day, in a day, but you should consider researching it and then experimenting. One day saying, all right, I'm going to try it. You try little, see what happens. It's going to give you some stuff. But once you do, now I have absolutely no plaque. This goes right through me. This I, is very dangerous. Do not do this unless you have supervision. Let me show you. You're going to get a heaping spoon and you're going to dump it right in the middle of the water. Don't touch it at all. Set that to the side for tomorrow. This is more advanced. You see how it is? But tomorrow, it's going to look like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to do a little bit. You want to try it. You want to do a little bit, a little bit, you know? Or actually don't even do this and do psyllium husk, which I don't have. I look for, but I can't. F oh, that's not it. That's my curry. Uh, come on. Psyllium husk. Or maybe I brought it already over here. Here it is, yeah. This is good. This is psyllium husk. You could start with this better. Don't even do bentonite clay. But what I do is I mix these two together. This is psyllium husk, but this is whole ground psyllium husk. You see? See, it, it almost looks like uh, farina, like cream of rice, or, you know, like oatmeal, but the, the cream of, wheat, of rice, the, the, it looks just like that. And um, this, the whole grain ones will go through you easier. This attaches to the plaque inside. It doesn't do the heavy metals very good, but it does some of them. But this is more for the plaque you want, and this is also a laxative too, so it bonds, but then when it, when it, when it goes through your digestive system, 
it assists you because it's very slippery, almost like uh, chia seeds. Actually, the chia seeds would be good if you did it with this. I've never done that, but it's something that you would explore. You have to be your own physician, not a doctor. We're not giving medical advice. We're giving, you know, you got to be your own physician of your own physical body. That you, as a natural man and woman, are the rulers, commanders, own, you know, owners or, you know, uh, of. You're the inhabitants of this body. You know, you should be in control. So you have to be your own doctor. When I have my family, we're going to only, I'm going to have doctors, you know, like, uh, in-house doctors, our family are going to be the doctors. Our family are going to be the, the maternity ward. All that stuff. Our family is going to be the dentist. We're going to have all the dental machines. You know, we're not going to need it because if we're eating right, our, we're not going to have one problem with our teeth at all. My kids are not going to have any problem with their teeth at all. Um, because if so, we change our diet. You know, we change our diet. You can't have too many acidic foods. Um coming into contact. Certain things you have to drink down. You have to drink down without putting it in contact with your teeth. Anyway, so now let me show you. This is advanced and then more advanced than this is this comes in a powder too. The powder is much stronger. It's going to bind to, to more plaque and then coffee enemas is more advanced. I'm not going to do that public because that's very sensitive. You have to basically stick something up there, squirt coffee in there. You got to get into all crazy positions to get it in. So that's, that's that. So this is the one you're leaving for tomorrow, right? This is the one I'm using today. I'm doing it right now so I can show you. I'm going to get a heaping. I'm going to put more water in. This is even going to make me uh, feel it. So I'm doing this now. Like, I'll, I will feel it. It will be like, because it's going to stick to whatever is in there, you know? And then it, it, it goes, me, my digestive, no matter what, if I take this or that or whatever, it's 24 hours. Sometimes when I eat really good and my body really likes it and is, is utilizing it, I use, um, it goes 36 hours, you know, but for the most part, my entire life, it's 24 hours. When I take, this is, a, this is something that's going to come out of me in 24 hours or less. Maybe when I have that sip of coffee in the morning, that stimulates your liver to, uh, to kind of uh, to release the bile, basically use the bathroom. Now, so... I'm going to use a heaping spoon, but you experiment with it. And it needs a little more water. Oh, I don't want any more water. You get it, you screw that cap on tight. Mix it up good. I'm going to get some more water so I can clean it. Afterward, That's dirty, but, but it's it's okay for me because I mixed it already and I didn't use a brand new cup. You want to clean this a little because it'll, uh, otherwise it's very hard to clean and you want to get everything out. show you next is vitamin C. I use this regular from CVS. I, I tried other ones. I tried blends. My head is 
I, I had no symptoms of anything this entire week. Everything was, it was a great week. Great positive energies. Then they sprayed us so badly. Oh my God. And I, I forgot because we had the meeting so late. I forgot to shut my air conditioner down. So I would be pay, pretty much... I don't want to go out working in this. Because if I go out working in this, on one of these days like this, I want to stay home. I do all my work indoors. So that might be, you know, a blessing in disguise because I really have to catch up on my paperwork. But I have so much to do. So much to do. So now, technically, you should wait for a couple, a couple of, like, a, maybe a half hour. Why? Because this... 22 minutes. Okay, so at least I'm... This right here would give you, uh, we don't want to lose the last meal. Like, I have my dinner in here and my lunch from yesterday. I don't want to lose that. I still want to, right now, these won't do anything to interfere with digestion. So, in the lower part and in my large intestines, my, my lunch and dinner from yesterday are being digested very well, by the way. Because you, you want to you wanna get your stool to be very like very dry if it's very dry and you have a regular bowel movement that means that your body is utilizing it another thing i should mention that i started which was a major major benefit was enzymes let me show you that and i want to get a diff i wanted to get a different brand but the one from vitamin shop is decent it, I expect it's the first time I've ever taken enzyme. Actually, maybe maybe not, but specifically just enzyme. I I I I think I might have gotten them from Blessed Herbs, but I'm just I mean I'm just using this. So this you want to use with with food. This does something I don't know how it does it, but it it, it gives you certain digestive enzymes. If you read through it, it tells you it works for lactose, for milk, for meat, for everything. You know so. After I started using this, I don't know if it's 100% from this, but my digestion got better. 90% dry. is 90 to 95% dry is what you want to get if, you, if you're at like 50s. If you have loose, that's not good. That means your body's rejecting it because it's basically parasite poop. You're, you're, you have unhealthy bacteria, and the unhealthy bacteria is, is, is basically consuming what you're eating and then pooping inside your body and then um and then your body doesn't want it so it rejects it that's loose stool if you have strong uh, uh you know dense strong uh, hard stool that means your body's digesting it and it's amazing it's amazing that whole subject and topic so i'm not this is this is with food and then i have basically probiotics Friendly Bacteria Replenisher from Blessed Herbs. This company went out of business and I'm thinking of buying it. As soon as I have time, I'm going to write them a letter and say, all right, you know, we could we could operate it at a loss. No problem. I'll absorb the loss because I just like the products. Now, so the reason why I'm saying the vitamin C is because this is an antioxidant. It's basically going to go, it's going to, it's a, is it a free radical scavenger? I think so. I think so, but I'm not going to look at it. Basically, you have to research the, the benefits of vitamin C. This is this is the one I use. Vitamin C Immune Health from, uh, you know, from CVS. I tried other ones. I don't know. I like this. I crunch this. This is good enough. I, I, I'll take two. I crunch them. I crunch them, but you got to brush your teeth afterwards because the vitamin C will dissolve. It's made for down there, but I like the taste of it. It reminds me of like uh, candy. When I was a, when I was a kid, I'm taking four. Okay. I'll swallow two and chew two. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. It's like those sweet candies when we were young. Mm. But without the sugar. And I'm gonna take two. 12,000 milligrams.
So that's it. Yep, that's it. This right here, I'll be good. So I can do this, uh, you know, I'll tell, in about an hour, I'll have a light lunch, you know, uh, a light lunch. And then I could do this later, but the second one I would want to do like way after, like, you know, three, four hours after. I can do a second one, same way. Or I can only do the first phase with, not with this, you know, with the, so this is going to be ready tomorrow. If you go through a full detox, you know, you, you would need these items. And uh, there's other parts to this. There's other parts to this, but I just wanted to make this because it's very important. See, now I'm feeling my, my heart, like, you know, my heart, it's because the chemtrails are going, they want, they want to control your organs, you know. So uh, I didn't have any pain in my heart yesterday. You know, I do get it occasionally, but it's, it's, you know, you would have to consider what is it really actually going on. You got to believe that if dogs can get heartworms, humans can get heartworms. So uh, it's not a worm. It doesn't look like a worm. It morphs like the movie Venom. You know how it, it morphs into anything it wants to. Cancer, the reason why they, they miss cancer is because they don't know what to look for because it takes on any shape. If you get grass-fed, grass-finished grass meat, you know, organic, grass-fed, grass-finished meat, of like a calf, a young calf, veal basically, or, or like lamb chops, not sheep, you know, like a, a young lamb and such, the meat is so tender. But if you get something that's more advanced, like say it's a 10-year, or if you go to the supermarket and get regular meat, you can't even chew it. What is that? I, we're finding out, Dr. Robert Kassar found out it's, it's, it's the diabetes. Diabetes meaning that, that it's, it's this, uh, these organisms, they go through your, they go every part of your body. They're in your fat, they're in your meat, they're in just like uh, pork. How they say pork, a lot of pork, there's videos where you pour Coca-Cola on the pork and the worms start coming out. It's in the meat, it's in the, it's in the fat. It's in, you know, it's in your fat. So summertime detox is different. Summertime detox, you want to use the sun. If you can't handle the sun, if you go out into the sun, you're like, <gasps> then you're sick. You have to be able to be out in the sun and then your body's going to go through a natural detox. Anyway, that's it for right now. I'm going to continue on this, but we went over these here as a, like a rapid one and I'm going to continue when I can. To make these are going to be video 56s, 56 part one, two, three, four, five, and then there's going to be some that's going to be uh private too, you know. But this one is public, this one I'm going to make public because I'm going over basics. All right, have a great day, guys. I have other stuff to do. Uh, I hope this was helpful.